Well, here we are. It is about going on 4 p.m. December 26th, and the water is on, and there is not a drop of water leaking. It's been on now for a good 15, 20 minutes, and the whole repair cost me less than $20. And this is what I did. As you saw in the previous video, I put all this crazy stuff on there, and it was still leaking. It wasn't leaking as much, but it still wasn't going to work, and I knew it. So I started, you know, crunching my numbers together, and I decided this is what I'd do. Now, I went to Home Depot. I went to uh, Tractor Supply. I went to Ace Hardware. None of them had what I wanted. But I went to Advance Auto, and I bought a one-inch ID heater hose. Now, they, I looked online. It says the average home is about 45 to 50 PSI with the water. And they rate this at around 65 PSI. And this is also, you know, carrying very hot water through it. And there's nothing but cold water being held here. And so I think it will work. I think that those hose clamps will probably rust up before the hose will ever go. But now the ends, when I put this on there, it was a perfect fit. At first, I wasn't sure if it was going to fit on, but it fit like a glove. And I did clean the ends off really, really well. And... When I cut that, that that is steel. Look, this is what I used. One of these cheap packs from Harbor Freight metal cutter, and it was came in a, th a pack where you got three different types of blades, and it went through there very easy. Use a short blade, if you use a long blade, you're going to run into trouble with the vibration. It's not going to work. To clean it, I had these discs, and I cut strips, and I just, you know, kind of like you got a towel, a scrub towel, and you're scrubbing your back. Well, I was doing that with these, and I, I also used a, uh, a grind, a spin and grind a disc on a drill to get where I could get at it on top, and then I... I gave it a good going over with this. And this is the tube, the pipe. And I'll show you the hole, if I can find it. Yeah, there's the hole right there. That's, that's, that's the culprit. Come on, focus. There's the culprit. Now... Unfortunately, if you look at this pipe, it has a seam in it. I don't know. If we can, yeah, see that seam running through it? And that seam is where the hole is. See? And this pipe... Let's face it, this pipe has, in the pipe that's in the ground, has a lot of places that are weak. And I know it's only a matter of time where I'll get another leak. Here's another one that's pretty bad right here that is rusting through. But how thick is this pipe? It's pretty thick. And... That's a wrap. The water is inside, going in, on inside the house. We don't have to run out here and turn the water off and on. How long will it last? I don't know. But, come on, focus. What I did when I cut this, you can see it's where it, that pipe threads into that pipe right there. I don't know if you can see the threads or not. So I left that. Because this pipe actually would look better, be in better shape than the pipe I cut out. So down the line, 
I may cut, get another leak, and wind up getting to the other end of this. And if I ever do, if I ever get to that point, and I'm still able to come out here and do this junk, maybe I'll just, you know, put in a whole new metal pipe. I don't know. But like I'm under 20 bucks, and it's working. That is a good deal. And if you go, you know, they had me blindsided. I'm on YouTube looking at all the people repairing this type of stuff, and they're all running to Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, and they're buying plumbing supplies. And I went there and looked and looked, and they had nothing would have worked for me unless I wanted to, you know, tear the whole thing up and put in a whole new thing, and I didn't really want to do that. I guess what I'm saying is, if you get focused on the right hand, your left hand can't think. And, you know, this happened back on the 11th of December, and I've been contemplating, what am I going to do? And I finally, this weekend, I, I knew this weekend, because of the holiday, you know, Christmas and Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I could uh, get in here and do it. And that's what I did. And I told, you know, if this was leaking, I was calling a pro in tomorrow. But she isn't. And, yeah. These are the discs. You know, I cut out to make the scrub cloths. And I know I'm going on and on here. I'm going to shut this off in a second. But I guess what I'm trying to state is you can get, like, totally convinced you got to do something a particular certain way when there's always an alternative at least a lot of times there actually is another way of doing it that can be maybe easier and maybe a lot cheaper they want you to spend money and that's something I don't like to do because I ain't got a lot anyways everybody now it is a Merry Christmas I'm getting ready to take a shower have a great one.